You know, I study entomology at the University of Kentucky, and you know that's sort of one of my pet peeves, right? We're in, you're in a grocery store in a line, and it's cold, 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 and someone says, you can hear, I can always hear someone saying, yeah, it's cold, cold enough for you, yeah, it's cold, sure it's cold. Well, you know, at least it's going to kill all the bugs. <laughs> what? The bugs that are uh, uh, adapted to our environment are adapted to the cold. The temperate zone bugs will get through just fine. All right? I wish we could put that silver lining on them, but they're going to get through just fine, uh, except for there are a few that don't. Why will they, the cold, get through even the real cold temperatures up here? Do you remember from your insect class? How do they overwinter? Most of the insect in the temperate zone overwinter is in two stages, right? Either as an egg or as the pupa which are more cold hardy than the larva. Think of a caterpillar, it ain't gonna take the cold. Or an adult butterfly. But the egg, where they lay their eggs, can take that coldness, and even the pupa of a lot of these can take the cold, all right? That's why they get through our cold winters. Now, there are a few that overwinter as adults. And guess what happens in the, in the fall when it starts getting cold? They're looking for warmth. And what are those? Ladybugs, stink bugs, box elder beetles, these insects actually overwinter as adults and they know they can't take the cold, so they're looking for any little warmth that, that they can find. And <clears throat> usually it's somebody's house or a shed or something. That's why when you go to open, I open the door and all these stink bugs come flying out at me in the spring because they're all hiding underneath trying to get out of the cold. Uh, you know, and I get calls all the time in the fall about that. Uh, ladybugs coming in, and I tell them, well, just back you one up. And I, I, I might have told the story about uh, the one lady who was very upset with the ladybugs. And she called me and she says, I got all these ladybugs coming in. And I said, what am I going to do about it? I said, first of all, you need to seal everything off. You need to think outside the box, go out there in any little crack or any little entry, where, even that you might not see. Get somebody to come in and look for you because you see a a crack and it's in the back of your mind, you don't see it anymore after a while. So, so you got to look at all these things to keep it out. When they're in there, I wouldn't use pesticides. I just uh, uh, vacuum them up and take them back outside. Now, there are some insects also that will, uh, or kind of like insects, that overwinter and don't like the cold. There may be a reduction in ticks. You're glad to hear that, aren't you? Uh, uh, but you know, if we're talking strictly uh, biological, ticks aren't insects, right? Arachnids? Yeah, you all know that. But there is, there will be, a, there is a little bit of a silver lining. But for the most part, nah, they'll probably get through the winter better than you and I will. <laughs>